Not trying to throw any shade, but the tutorials that came before this one absolutely sucks! With a capital S. What is up guys, this is Finch here, bringing you another awesome video today. As you can see in the title, this video is all about properly synchronizing your voice audio with your webcam video. And I wanted to do this video because this is something that I struggled with for a long time. I looked at many tutorial videos and, th you know, the, my issue with them is they didn't really go into a lot of detail on how to fix the problem. There were some videos where they would just you know, do this, do this, do that, but they don't go into detail on how offset works, and we're gonna go ahead and get into that right now. If you haven't noticed already, I'm using Streamlabs OBS, and for those of you that may be watching this video and you're not using Streamlabs OBS, just know that the procedure is similar across various stream recording software, it's just that the layout is more is going to be different. First thing you want to do is find out where the offset settings are located. So what you want to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner after you open up Streamlabs OBS. Look for the mixer window and go over to the right and click on the gear to open the advanced audio settings. That's where the magic is going to happen. And after you do that, you want to find out find your microphone so here's my microphone and only thing that i'm going to be messing with is the sync offset that's where it is sync offset first thing i'm going to do is highlight the sync offset of my microphone which is right here this is where all the magic is going to be happening so i'm only worried about the sync offset value so sync offset does the following to help you fix your problem sync offset delays the occurrence of your voice audio in order for it to sync up with the your lips in the video so if you hear your voice before or after your lips move in the video then that means your video is out of sync and you need to use sync offset to fix that problem so when you hear your voice before your lips move then that means you're going to increase your sync offset and if you increased it too much and you hear your voice after your lips move then that means that you have to bring the value down Please keep in mind that there is no magic number for this because it all depends on what you are using so everyone's settings is going to be different. Start increasing your sync offset by increments of either 100 or 200 and then what you'll do is close the advanced audio settings, hit the record button and clap three times. In the recording, check the video for synchronization and use that to help you make the best judgment you can make. So if the sound of the claps comes before you begin the claps, then that means your sync offset needs to be increased. Now if you increase the sync offset too much, you're going to hear the sound of the claps after you made the claps and that tells you that you have to decrease the sync offset. If you're not sure where the video you recorded using Streamlabs OBS is, I'm going to show you the steps to not only find out where your video is located, but how you can change the directory if you wanna have quicker access to it. So what you wanna do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen look for a gear that's called settings click on that gear another window will pop up and you want to go down to where it says output you'll find output on the left hand side click output and you want to go 
down to a group of tabs here that's located under output mode. I can't do any changes or anything like that because I'm actually recording this video right now. So you want to go to recording, click on that, and you want to look for recording path. That shows you the folder that your video is located in. And if you want to change the directory, you can do that by pressing browse and then you could select a different folder in a different part of your computer so that you have quicker access to it. And that's all you have to do. If you want to try to be even more accurate, what you can do is you can take your video and you could drop it into your video editing software and look for the giant spike in the wavelength or the audio file or the video because that spike, that big wavelength is going to indicate the sound of the clap and use that to check to see if your sound is in sync with the video. And then you can also use the measuring tool within your video editing software to check the milliseconds like you can actually calculate the milliseconds so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to give you a visual aid to help you see what sync offset does by doing video tests of my own i already have my sync offset so I'm going to reset my sync offset, bring it down to zero and show you what happens as I increase my synchronization offset. Right now it's set to zero and good chance that you already heard my voice before my lips even moved. Now I have it set to 100. Did it get any better? And here's the value right here. All right, now I increased it to 300. Let's see how much closer I got. This video would practically go on forever if the increments was every 200. So I just bumped it up to 900. How much closer did I get? Am I getting close? All right, now I bumped it up to 1,100 and I'll show you that as of right now. I should be getting pretty darn close right now. Pretty, pretty darn close. Okay, now what I did was I increased the offset to what I believe to be my sweet spot, which is 1,205 for my microphone. Because the goal here is to be as accurate as possible. It's not going to be perfect, but you don't want the synchronization to be so out of sync that it is 100% noticeable. So the most important goal is to make sure that it is not noticeable. Okay, what I did here is I actually increased the range to 2000. That's way, way, way too far. So chances are you guys heard the voice audio well after my lips started moving. So that's an indicator that, yo, you gotta decrease the sync offset cause you went too far. So now what I did was I returned my settings back to the number that I feel works better for my microphone, which is 1,205. And that practically ends the tutorial. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope you are now able to define sync offset you know what it is, what it does, and how you can use it to help synchronize your microphone with your webcam so that the next time you stream, no one will come into your stream saying, I like how your webcam is out of sync with your voice. You know, you don't want your next live stream to be like my most recent video, which was my uh, live reaction to the Super Mario Maker 2 update and people was pointing that out to me and I was like, oh my God, not again. Like I said, three years of training to get this down. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, hit that subscription button. Thanks again. 
and i look forward to seeing you next time and if you have any questions about it feel free to leave a comment in the chat and i would be happy to address whatever issue you may have have an awesome day guys peace and god bless Thank you.